Hello, one of four area. What's up? I would like to say rest in perfect peace. Keep on resting. A year late president John Evans Fifi at our mills. In fact, he was one of the presidents everybody liked. Uh, in fact, even if you are in opposition, because of how he was, and in a car, car now, and of four, unfortunately for Ghanaians and unfortunately for us, they have had his own way on our president, if he even at times. And it's been 11 years now. It is very, very surprising. But a lot of people are asking, what actually killed ex-president at times? What killed him? What happened? Because we don't, we still don't get it. Uh -huh. Although autopsy, ABBA, any nature can win, but we still want to know. So, okay. So this was exactly what happened, and I said, what killed him? Now, I know for on his 11th anniversary, some facts and some truth are out about his death. What happened, how things went, and all that. And you know who, who, who brings this up? And you know, Biasa Koku, and yet the whole, the spokesperson of a year, if late president, John Evans, 50 at a mills. Now, a year of one the whole, and it's me out to try on his 11th anniversary and all the same to the how he died what happened and all that where he died and i know you know those things but a lot of people still doubt what happened and so because of that company the one wants to clear his name and all that people are saying that there's something fishy somewhere about the death of our late president john evans Phoebe at and in fact it's heartbreaking but at the end of the day we can't do anything about it it is death so i don't want i don't want to pay get you paid or anything but we just have to know the fact and the truth and the uh, yes, on his 11 anniversary koku i need to tell us the side of how at mills was died so let's listen quickly to what he has to say to koku i need to know a former presidential spokesperson has spoken about the circumstances surrounding the death of John Evans at a mills in July mm, 2012. That's what he said, and then he has said it again. So the late president died at the 37 military hospital where he had been rushed to from the castle, the seat of the presidency at the time. So at the time, it was the castle where the president lived in the another room at the time perceived to be a powerful aide to the former president noted that he had been severely accused to taking custody of the alien president by personally transporting him to the hospital so and um, the what came up after the death of the president the next president was that koku Anyodo personally took the president to the hospital, that is the 37 military hospital. When things became severe, the issues became very worse. He was the one who took him. But let's look at the truth. And that's what Kapu Anyedo has to say about this. So let, let me continue before I bring the fact. Even though he has defined the claims in previous interview, he has, on the occasion of the 11th anniversary of Mills' death, written a side of the story which he says should let to rest all other allegations to the fact or say the president was not driven to the military military hospital by Koko Anudo. So Koko Anudo is uh, insisting again. In fact, he has said it on several platforms and uh, any interview he grants, any if this issue comes up, he clarifies it that he was not the person who sent the president to the 37 military hospital as at that time he said he wants to state clearly but rather let's listen was it the president was driven in an assigned ambulance with no medics of course how can a president who was at the verge of dying or who was seriously ill and then people uh, trying to get him back and then Koko and who will send him to the hospital is it in his personal car or what whilst we have an ambulance with qualified doctors and all that in the ambulance who so would be treating him before they get to the hospital so this one i didn't really get it when people were saying that it was koko and but koko and is clarifying this once and for all he said the truth is that and you are no and the late president at hospital but 
and your ambulance and a delay and a echo with no medics. See, the president was not sent to the maternity ward. <laughs> okay, so people were saying the president was sent to the maternity ward. This is quite interesting, you know. It is sad, but let me make fun of it a bit. How can someone who is then sent to a maternity ward? That are over? See, the president was driven straight to the intensive care unit. So I say, oh, and you didn't call it. It's you didn't call intensive care unit. Or say, oh, and I didn't let president. John Evans Fifi at a mill said, You didn't echo him. He speaks published on Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Radio's website. Con uh, continue as regards, uh, or see, as regards the ICU, the intensive care unit, and as fate would ha have it, President Atta Mills, as part of surprise visit to selected state institution, visited the Texas Military Hospital. And the intensive care unit in particular was one of the facilities that he entered home to walk through upgrading that has taken place. So during the time when the president was strong faith and all that, and at the president he was doing this inspection, was going round now or call round I in inspections address. According to Kokwa one of the hospitals are Okoy and that is a military hospital. And I'll call you. Now, that's a military hospital, so I'll call you. Where you have a rasa, a intensive care unit, a home, and a okopium, but unfortunately, he didn't know that he was okay. So, he was also shown around, certainly not inside the rebuilt monastery. So, he died at the intensive care unit and was sent to the morgue. So, that is quite interesting. I said that was the way of showing at us the fleeting nature of our existence of course so if the president was storing maybe our papa for Diana, how he would die this is very very heartbreaking and heart touching also do i know also do i know what killed president at our mills also no no autopsy reports has been made public so the nation still does not know what killed our beloved president just see he doesn't know what killed him. Say it will be poison, no? Say dead. Like actually, what came up? What killed the president? We don't know of it. And you know, people are thinking it's because he's closer to the late president, no obey him, but I say no, 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 no. Autopsy had made it clear to the general public, and we know all know that. But the fact is, he's gone and shall never come back in flesh. All I can do is to help keep his memory alive. And I shall do so no matter the evil and wicked nonsensical noises that the pretenders make in their abrupt world. It's one of the orca, the fellow and this is one of the orca. In fact, for quite a while, any day, as at that time, the vice president, John Ramani, my mom, came back because of the quite a while, see the treatment the uh, vice president gave the president as at that time. In fact, it was some way. And for us, a CCTV cameras and a war on in the anchor, we could trace Nina away. A papa, you are not for the same way yet. A more ashy, but that was what happened. A war, a year late president, how he died, and blah blah blah. Who rushed him to the hospital? And the car came in. I don't for make sure yourself a comment. No, it will kill me. I will comment section. I'm making bread. No, my king, kind, edgy. I'm a mother for snow. Men are made in several. It's a CCRD. Now come.